Hi there Firebirds fans, I'm Claire McManaman and you are joining me for another episode of The Fireplace brought to you by Suncorp Team Girls. I cannot wait for netball to be back this weekend. It's round seven and today I have joining me someone that needs no introduction. She's Queensland netball royalty. Welcome Laura Geitz. Thank you. It's very nice to be here in some very comfortable chairs. I know. You're liking the leather? <laughs> I love the leather. Yeah, it's really in keeping with my personality. <laughs> <laughs> now Geitzy, give me an idea about the things that you've been really surprised or impressed with just in terms of this competition generally. The thing that's probably um, taken me by surprise the most is just how closely contested every single game is, you know, separated by only a few points, but also, um, you know, teams are just beating each other. You, you know, you've got your top four, but as we saw, Lightning went from bottom of the ladder to all of a sudden finding themselves in second or third place. So um, the introduction of the bonus point obviously is making for a really interesting season. And I think one of the reasons why it is so tight and close is because players are stepping on court every week and they're just putting out amazing performances. And you've come up against pretty much every single shooter in the competition now, bar Shimona Nelson. You'll face her this weekend against the Thunderbirds. Who's really impressed you with the game style that they've put out and I suppose the attitude to how they've been playing? I would have to say Caitlin Thwaites from Collingwood. Uh, Thwaites, obviously, we've had a bit of history coming up against each other in big games as well when you look at those, you know, New South Wales Swifts Grand Finals. Um, but probably the thing that impressed me most about Katie a couple of weeks ago was just, um, you know, it's, it's a funny word to describe her, but maturity in a way. And she is obviously a, a, a mature player. She's been around for a while now. but. I just thought the way Katie demanded the ball, she was really smart um, in terms of stepping up when Erin and Maddie's workload may have dropped a little bit, but then also knew um, when to sort of sit back and let Maddie and Erin take control. And um, I think she's in fantastic form and really she's been probably one of, well, has been the hardest shooter for me to shut down this season so far. Yeah, I think the most beautiful thing about Katie, as you said, is it's been growth and maturity has been a part of that. And people peg Katie as this amazing role model. And I'd like to talk a little bit about role models more in this week's Team Girls moment. So many girls in Queensland look up to you and the other Firebirds players. Who did you look up to? Who was your role model growing up? Yeah, it's an interesting question. Um, probably when I reflect on my childhood and really aspiring to be like somebody um, or the biggest moment that had an impact on me was watching Cathy Freeman win that 400 metres at the Sydney Olympics. What still stays with me was the humility of Cathy after winning that um, and I just I remember thinking that woman has just achieved. She's the best in the world. Um, I get goosebumps yeah, like I now do. even still thinking about Same, it. Same, you know, and, and that just for me was the moment where I I thought, I want to do what that girl's just done. I want to I want to not only represent my state, but I want to represent my country and just loved what Cathy Freeman done and, um, and still to this day has an impact yeah, on me. And I think for us, there are still girls within our competition that see you as role models. And that's my favourite part of Team Girls is about educating all the young netballers that are out there that sometimes you don't actually have to look too far to find people that inspire you, that make you want to be better and make you want to play really well. You're heading back to Priceline Stadium. We know how much you guys like it down there. You get those really parochial T-Birds fans. You've had a really nice there. experience there, haven't you? Oh, it's just the best. But You've had a whole week to prepare, obviously. Well, two weeks, realistically, because you had the bye. What's Rose had on the agenda for you? Rose has spoken a lot about the ability of T-Birds and how they're disrupting teams. They make um, teams throw a lot of ball away. Um, they're a bit unorthodox. And I have a feeling, as you mentioned, T-Birds are on the rise. I, I think the buys happened. They've put to bed some of the performances that they would like to forget for the rest of the season. They'll do that and they'll move on for this second half of the season. I see that they are going to take the role as getting out there and trying to disrupt as many teams as possible and they are very, very capable of that. They've got some fantastic players in their team, not to mention their very smart coaching um, staff on the bench as well. I know, they've got a killer combo with Dan Ryan and Jane Woodlands-Thompson. What do you guys need to do then? What's your focus going to be coming into the match? 
Defensively, we, so cliche, but we just have to go back to, um, you know, the tough old grinding hard work, being in front of our players, um, you know, really pressure hands up over over the passes and um, probably not be reactive, come out and try and actually win some ball and, and disrupt in our style. Mm -hmm. um, attack wise, you know, when when we allow Gretel and Romelda to play their natural game, when they get those beautiful shooter to shooter passes happening and um, the speed of the ball happens, that's when that at attack end is really difficult to stop. So um, we need to just make sure that we're, you know, really well prepared and um, we're just enjoying ourselves and not putting too much pressure on ourselves and um, getting out there and having a real crack. Well, I hope you do have a red hot crack because Firebirds fans are just waiting for you guys to fire. So all the best this weekend. And for everybody who doesn't live in Adelaide that is a Firebirds fan, tune in to your Telstra Live app on Sunday at 1pm to catch all of the action. It will be an absolute cracker and we hope that the Firebirds prevail. Come on top with another win to set us in contention for rolling towards the second half of the season and fingers crossed hopefully finals. We need more bonus points too by the way. Just write that down in a note. Good one. So until next week, go the Firebirds. <laughs>